You ready? All right. Greetings, greetings from the hive. Today we are talking about reclaiming our time. Reclaiming our time. Today our topic is time management. Our section is organization. And we have our, you know, of course our heading, our name, the full date and your class period. So our guiding question is what are good examples of time management? Everybody had a time log and an example of a time log, thank you very much. Uh, we have this time log sheet that everybody received. And what happens is that uh, in that time log sheet, it looks something actually like this when you complete it. So what happens is that you are to put everything down. So to make it easy and simple, rather than me have a whole bunch of stuff, I just put C's and E's. My C stands for, you know, the C is a code for class and the E is, or either L is for lunch, but I have E for eating, which is four hours. All right. And then I just kind of wrote it all out. But then I said, make a list of the tasks on your time log. In my case, I only have on here C's and E's. So the list of the tasks are class and eating. So right here I wrote class and eating, but normally you would write it right here under the red, class and eating. So then the next thing it says is estimate how much time you spend a week on the task you noted. That in my case, I noted class and eating. So estimating how much time I would turn around and I would tally up how many hours or minutes. So in this case, I tallied up my C's, which is 20 hours. And my E's are one to four hours. So now I have written down. And so if you have, you may have like 10 tasks. So you should write all of your tasks and how many hours you use for each task. Then the next thing it says is, um, after you estimate, do a bar graph to demonstrate your findings. Um, can you come up here, Jasmine? So in my case, I said that my class was 40 hours and my eating was four hours and you may have many more but the same process still applies so then that same paper that you did right there that you had that you wrote your answers on you're going to turn to the back of that paper and you're going to turn it this way or you could do it this way, but it's probably going to be a better graph this way, especially if you have more than four tasks. So I think the long way is better, okay? Um, I mean, the horizontal way is better. All right, so an example of how to do a graph, which I think you already know from math, but I just don't want to assume. Everything always starts at zero. So you go from the lowest number, in my case, mine is four, and my greatest number is 40. So I'm gonna start with increments of five. Okay, so my first thing is class. So I'm gonna go up to 40. I'm gonna come over and I have class 40 hours. It's very important that I write the unit of measurement, like is it hours, or is it minutes, or is it seconds? Because that's really important. So it's 40 hours for my class. Then here I have eating four hours. So I'm gonna go up to four, that's still five. And then I'm gonna go this way. And I'm going to put eating, and I'm going to put four hours here. And then, so now I have actually, I completed my bar graph to demonstrate my findings. Now I'm going to look at this and determine, wow, I'm going to do summary and reflection to see what was wrong and right about it. So what happens is that we have the summary and reflection sheet, as you all know, that everybody received in their binder the summary and reflection sheet that everybody have. You're gonna use this as your guide to analyze what 
you see. In my case, I would see that I spent a lot of time in class and four hours of eating. So pretty much I would put sleeping and all that. But some people may see that they talk on the phone too much or they scroll the internet too long and they should be able to say, you know, well, hey, maybe I can cut back. So then the next thing you do is after you complete the bar graph, you go back and eliminate the things that are not necessary. Like if you realize that you're not doing good on your classwork and you look at back and see you spend more time on the internet or more time doing something that wasn't really going to be beneficial or something that wasn't going to move you to the next level of greatness, then you need to eliminate that and readjust your schedule. So that's what the summary and reflection is. So on the bottom of your sheet, you should have summary and reflection on the bottom of your note sheet that says topic time management. You on the After you do the graph on the back, you turn it back over and at the bottom do summary and reflection. And remember how we have summary and reflection set up. You're gonna have summary on the left. You're gonna write your response here. You're gonna skip a line and then you're gonna write reflect here and then you're going to write the response there. All right, so this has been our lesson for today on reclaiming our time. Have a great day. Thank you.